Today, we are going to be looking for some of the biggest black holes that exist in the universe. So this is Space Engine, which if you don't know, is a very realistic simulator of pretty much everything we know of in the universe. So like here's Earth, you can see different constellations. There's Orion back there. And you can even like see the Orion Nebula that's right here. And we should be able to fly over to that. Uh, so you can see the speed is 135 light years every second. So we're going pretty quick. So we're going to use Space Engine here today. There's the Orion Nebula to look at some of the biggest known black holes and even some that might be bigger. Like if Space Engine doesn't know what's out there, it will kind of fill it in procedurally with what it thinks could be out there. So we're going to try to find a black hole bigger than any black hole we've ever discovered. This is a whole view of the Milky Way. And right here, there is a little binary system. This is a star, right? And this little dot right here is actually the smallest black hole that we know of. And it's only, if we see here, 3.8 times the mass of the sun, which for black hole standards is really, really small. Its diameter is only 22 kilometers, so not big at all. You can see how small it is compared to this star right here. And this star, it looks like it's actually getting like stretched out from the black hole. I think probably because they're orbiting so close. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, so this is more um, camera adjusted. You can't even see the black hole. I'm not 100% sure, but the discovery of this might have been this kind of weird orbit and maybe just watching the star because being able to see a black hole that small is really, really hard. Let me know in the comments if you know more about how they discovered this. So this is the smallest known black hole. So we're only gonna go up from here. The next one I want to show you guys is another one in the Milky Way. So let's zoom back out. Here's the Milky Way, right? And if you didn't know this, the center of the Milky Way has a supermassive black hole in it called Sagittarius A. Here's the center of our galaxy. You can see how many bright stars there are clustered around here. I wonder how many of these, if we turn on the orbit lines, so all of these ones in the center here that have these lines on them are orbiting the supermassive black hole in the center, Sagittarius A. So let's see if we can find which one it is. Uh, yeah, right here. So let's get closer to it. So this is Sagittarius A, the center of our Milky Way galaxy right here. And this is a supermassive black hole. And just take a look at that. You can see the accretion disk spinning. So the mass here is 4.3 times 10 to the six times the sun. So very, very big. Tons and tons of mass in here. Uh, what's our diameter? 0.7 AU. So one AU is the distance from Earth to the sun. So it's 17% of that, which I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine just how big this black hole is. And this isn't even close to the biggest black hole. To get our next biggest black hole, we're actually going to leave the Milky Way. So outside of the Milky Way, we're going to go to a galaxy called IC 1101. And this is one of the, if not, it could be the biggest galaxy we know of. It doesn't look like too much out here. It's not like a spiral flat galaxy like our Milky Way. But moving in, you'll see how many stars start to show up. Very, very, it's like a very large chunk of all of this matter, stars and nebulae and different stuff, all clustered together, making it one of the biggest galaxies. So if we move to the center of the galaxy, right in the center here, oh wow, okay. Um, I think we flew inside the black hole. Here is the central supermassive black hole inside of the largest galaxy. And I think it doesn't, we don't know the full like uh, diameter and stuff like that. So it just shows the system diameter, which is 1.4 light years. And I, I don't know if we know exact numbers here. The black hole has so much mass that when matter gets really close like this, it accelerates super, super fast. We can see that if we uh, pull up our time here. And just because of that, it heats up and creates these accretion disks. So if we remove that, you can kind of see what's in there, a black hole. So the actual black hole itself is completely dark because the gravity is so strong at the event horizon, the part where it actually goes black, that not even light can escape. All of the brightness we see coming off the black hole isn't actually from the black hole. It's from all of the stuff that's spinning around the black hole super, super fast. 
So this is the central black hole in the largest galaxy we know of. Uh, but surprisingly, it is not the biggest black hole we know of. There is an even bigger one in this galaxy here, Home 15. It doesn't really look like much. Some of these bigger galaxies, I think because they're just kind of a clump of so much mass, they end up looking not that cool, but there's so much mass inside them. And I think that's probably it. See, all the way out here in space, we can see a super bright dot. And I'm willing to bet that's the black hole. Let's fly up to it. I haven't seen it in Space Engine yet. That's probably it because of how, yeah. This is one of the biggest black holes we know of here. And tons of bright stars around it. I want to turn on the orbit lines. So you can see all of these crazy bright and giant stars orbiting it. Some of them get really close. Look at that. Uh, so the system diameter is 12.4 light years. I don't think that's the actual diameter of the black hole. Um, probably just like this system of stars. But that's a lot bigger than the previous one. Mass 4. Is that 4 times 10 to the 10th? That's a big number, dude. We could turn the accretion disk off. So this is an absolutely massive black hole. And if you could adjust your exposure, it's so much brighter than anything out here. If you're actually able to adjust your exposure enough to see it, you're not going to be able to see anything else, even from really far away. Check that out. That's actually crazy. If we're inside the galaxy at all, it's bright enough to drown out everything else in the galaxy. That's actually crazy. So bright. Such a bright black hole. Luminosity. I don't I don't know what they measure luminosity in, but it's, it's very big. 3.6 times 10 to the 12th. But we can go even bigger than this. We're now going to go to the biggest black hole that we know of, which is Ton 618. So Ton 618 is actually a galaxy, but inside of the galaxy, the central black hole, the supermassive black hole in the center is that black hole. And I'm not seeing that bright dot pop out like we did in the last one, but let's go straight to the black hole. So here that is uh, system diameter at 20 light years. So yeah, the biggest one by far. The last one was like 12, 6.6 times 10 to the 10th power, which is an insanely big number. Luminosity is 8.1 times 10 to the 12th. So yeah, this is a lot bigger than that previous one. This is currently the biggest black hole that we know of. Turn off the accretion disk, you can see it in there. If we get our HDR, our lighting set up better, you can see it in the galaxy like this. We visited this one before and we tried to fly inside of it, but when you enter black holes in Space Engine, uh, no, one, no one knows what happens you can see the light kind of curve around you like this, which is kind of realistic because the light, um, the light bends around black holes. You saw that in a smaller, the smaller black holes we saw. So once we go past the event horizon, which is the part where light doesn't escape, it just goes white because no one, no one knows what's inside a black hole. So that is the biggest confirmed black hole that we know of, but there is one that could be bigger. Before we go there, I want to show you a smaller non supermassive black hole. So we're going to fly into the Milky Way here, and then we're going to search for black holes. Okay, here's a few different black holes. And these, if it says RS, that means it's procedurally generated. So this is actually a system where instead of a star in the center, we have a black hole. So you can see these are all the planets here. And this doesn't have that bright accretion disk, so you can really see the light bending effect going around, which is crazy because as light gets close to the black hole, it actually will bend the path of the photons. And these planets here are orbiting that black hole. Uh, we're getting shaky. You can see here's the planet, but it's all dark because no light is gonna be coming off of the black hole. So here's kind of our system, but it looks like a system with no star because black holes are actually so dense that they're actually really small. Like what's our diameter? Only 62 kilometers is how big the black hole is. And there's an entire system around it. But just at 62 kilometers, it has the mass of 10 suns. So it can support a really large system like this with all these planets going around it. Something like this probably exists in the Milky Way, but this is procedurally generated. Now we're going to go to potentially the largest black hole, which hasn't been confirmed, but it definitely could be bigger than Ton 618, which is Phoenix A, which is in the Phoenix Cluster Galaxy. Uh, so here's that galaxy, which actually looks pretty cool. And if we move into the center, there's going to be a supermassive black hole here. And the game does procedurally generate this, as you see, procedural generated object. But this is a candidate for the largest black hole. 
because the game is making it up, it can give us more information about it. So it doesn't give us like the system diameter, but Phoenix A could be, it's not confirmed, the largest black hole ever discovered. So here is that. And if we get our lighting a little better, this one looks pretty cool. This one reminds me a lot of uh, Gargantua from Interstellar with this accretion disc coming out like this. So not confirmed yet, but maybe one day we will find a truly 100% confirmed bigger black hole than Ton618. But for now, we're just gonna keep looking. If you wanna look in Space Engine, I'm sure you can find some that are a lot bigger than Ton618 because unlike real life, in Space Engine, we can just fly wherever we want. So there's a galaxy, all of these are different galaxies. Click on a random one, fly into it, go to the central black hole. If you hold control and press G, it'll take you to the central black hole. Not all galaxies have them, but most do. And you can look around yourself. This one's cool, it's got like red on it. Uh, but thank you all for watching. If there's more stuff you want to see in this game, because we can fly anywhere in the universe, which is actually crazy to think about. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all later. Goodbye.